Hey everyone, I'm Brett Barnett with Gibraltar Hardware and I just got finished building a rack for one of our Gibraltar artists named Dusty Saxton who plays for the band called Ember and they're based out of Texas. Dusty came to me about two to three months ago and said, dude, I would love for you to design and build me a rack. I currently have the stealth rack, both stealth racks, the one that has the tom mount that comes out of the T-leg and also, you know, connected to the snare T-leg and I've also got the side stealth rack and um, I love the concept of it being low profile and easy to set up and tear down, but I want something a little bit flashier um, and more customized, but I still want it to be kind of stealth. And I was like, okay, well, what are you looking for? Like, what kind of design are you thinking? He goes, well, I've got two crashes on my left side and I've got two crashes on my right side. And I definitely know for sure that I want to use curved bars to, for the, the crashes to come out of. And I was like, okay. He goes, I saw the rack that you built for Al Wilson. And he goes, I love the double tier idea. I love the double tier idea. The only thing that I want to change with mine is I don't really want to do it on both, have both tiers coming off of the same vertical legs. I was like, okay, well, why don't you check out Samantha Maloney's rack, the one that I built for her. So he checks it out, calls me back and was like, dude, that's an amazing rack too. I would, I, I love it all. And I was like, how about this? How about we make a hybrid of Samantha's and Al's rack together? Okay, so the first step that I took in building Dusty's rack is um, setting up all of the T-legs. Now as you can see, I had to use two verticals per T-leg. So what I did was I just added a uh, T-leg clamp, which is the SCGRS CTL right there, that will um, allow you to add a vertical or any other kind of tube to it at a 90 degree angle. The, GRS CTLA comes with a T-leg clamp already on it. This is the chrome version. We don't offer the chrome version, but you can always swap them out. Um, the clamps out there are very interchangeable. And all I did was just add a second one to, uh, to add the second vertical leg on it. Now this is the back. I used uh, 20 inch straight tubes, which is the SC GPR 20, because um, he wants this as a low profile rack, as I mentioned, and um, I'm going to have to chop it down a little bit because he wants it low. So for the front T legs, I did the V, I used the V bars. And it's not supposed to lay down like this, so let me flip it up the way it's supposed to look. It's supposed to go like this. So what I did was I just used the short V bars that we had and I cut off about six inches at the bottom and uh, added another T-leg clamp right there as you can see to the uh, T-leg assembly and um, I angled them so that once you put it up this portion is level going straight up and down and I did that with both sides because both sides are going to be exactly the same As you see right here, I had to add a support crossbar because otherwise these two bars might want to go back and forth and if he wants to rip off the horizontals, he uh, would still have a problem with these things moving around on him. So this just keeps it in place so it's not going to go anywhere. And um, what I had to use to connect those was just the SEGCRA, which is the Chrome Series right angle clamp. And I use that on both of the V-bars. Okay, so step three in this process was I added the vertical, I mean the, the upper tier to these, back te to these back horizontals right here. This is a 40 inch curve bar. Now, this one was a 46 and I had to use a 40 at the top because of the distance is greater here from these two points than from th these two points. So I had to use a smaller t curve bar at the top for the horizontal. And once again, I took the same steps as to making sure everything was level on all three points of the bar as I did on this, this uh, lower tier. And the same thing for the other side. I used all the same attachments, the SCGCRA, to connect the horizontals to the verticals. He's got a two-tier setup with, with completely on two separate verticals. You could actually create a whole another rack system set up with just a one-sided, you know, one bar, one tier rack, you know, two side racks completely. 
um, if you were to just get four more T legs, you could make you could just make us make two more racks. Step four. What I did was I added the no leg snare stand. Now this is a um, more unconventional no leg snare stand attachment. This is what I had to do with Samantha Maloney's rack when I built hers. Uh, just like her, he plays an 8 inch deep snare and um, he has it positioned pretty low but with an 8 inch deep snare that that's, takes up a lot of space and height. And I also had to custom make him a uh, no leg snare base because had I used the one that we provide, I would have uh, been able to. Uh, I wouldn't been able to um, get the uh, the height or the the lowness of the uh, connector bar right there. The problem with this is is that it needs to go underneath a double pedal arm. Um, we also carry the uh, the bent arm that comes with the stealth rack system, but because of the angle that I have here, I don't have a straight angle to work with. So I had to come from up here and I needed to use the long V-bar, which is the SEGPR LV. Now to connect this, what I used was the uh, adjustable right angle clamp. Now this is the SEGCSAR, and it has a drum key right in the middle in here on the inside. If you were to flip this part of the C-clamp up, there's a drum key right in there that you can loosen or tightening, tighten this little uh, ratchet system that we have right here, which you can manipulate this whole clamp left or right in any direction and you can lock it down at whatever angle you need and be able to get some pretty crazy things that you uh, wouldn't have been able to get with a standard right angle clamp and right here since I just used some some old tubing that I had lying around I was able to use a right angle clamp to connect to the actual base of the snare stand which is actually one of these tubes that was just cut Okay, so this is the final step in just putting the frame together for Dusty's rack. What I did was he wanted the, his two crash symbols on his left side and on his right side, he wanted them coming out of these vertical curves. So what I did was I used the 46 inch curve tubes. They're not going to be this tall, he's going to chop them down. The actual where the symbol rests is about 49 inches and this is about probably 55 inches high roughly. But um, the reason I chose to use the 46's be, um, instead of a smaller curve was because he wants the symbols to be pretty much right, sitting right on top, right next to his drums. The other, sim the other curve tubes that we have, even though they're, they're smaller, the curve isn't as drastic because of the, the length of the curve, they're a little bit wider. So had I not uh, used this 46 inch curve, it would have curved out this way and his symbol would have been much further away from him. So I wanted to keep everything relatively close so I decided to use the 46 inch curve. And I just attached them to both tiers. The top tier I used a, uh, GC, a uh, GCRA, the SEGCRA. And the bottom I used the uh, SEGCSAR which is the adjustable right angle clamp. The same clamp that I used for the snare stand bar support. Now the reason I used that at the very bottom was because I needed more distance between here and here, right here. Otherwise, this whole vertical bar would have been pushed out further away. So I needed to gain a little bit more distance. You don't really have to do this if you're doing something of the same and you, you don't mind booming the cymbals in, but he didn't want them boomed in. He wanted them coming straight out of the tube, so I needed to get a little bit distance so it pushed this tube this way a little bit more. And I did the exact same thing with this over here. Now the floor tom side, I just mimicked it exactly. Now I'm probably going to chop off about six inches, six to seven inches to allow uh, his cymbals to be able to be placed on there. Okay, so this is the final step to finishing Dusty's rack. Now, as you can see, what I did was I cut down all the unnecessary tubes that were left up top. I chopped off about a foot for this, for each one of these verticals right here. And then I chopped off about probably five or six inches from here because there was too much overhang. Um, I chopped off about 
probably three or four inches on this side. I left a little bit because, you know, whether when he gets the kit, he may decide he wants to move it forward and move it back a little bit just to give him enough to play with. And um, I wanted to create some kind of like little staggered stair step for the two uh, verticals in the front as well as the two verticals in the back. Clean this piece up, chopped off about three inches of that. Same with this side, I just duplicated everything. As you can see, I added the SCRBA to the top of each one of these verticals, with the exception to the front one here. This is where the double tom mount is going to go, and I wanted to use the SCRMAA here because it's got a bigger grabber area for the double tom mount. It uh, allows it to support a little bit more weight. Same with the snare stand. As I mentioned earlier, the snare stand has got one as well. And um, I chose this because Dusty has an 8 by 14 inch snare, which is extremely heavy, and uh, this just adds a little bit more support. I added the RMAA right here as well because of his ride cymbal. He plays a pretty heavy ride cymbal and just gives it a little bit more support. But everything else, every other vertical tube, I just used the RBA because it's just going to have cymbals and you know toys and whatnot coming out of each one of these. And there you have it, done.